What's going on, friendos? It's me, LITD Sandman. I'm going to be trying to bring you some kind of different content. Now, I know I said I didn't much care for action oriented games, but I've always been a big fan of MMOs, so I figured, hey, why not? I heard some good things about this game. I heard that it just recently became playable, so I think that's why everybody's going to go play it. And I thought, hey, let's uh, let's record a video. So I'm gonna be hopping on to Raven because it's not the busy one, and we're gonna be seeing how this looks. Now I do have my graphics set on low because my computer cries whenever it thinks about doing much stuff. So we're gonna be selecting a class. We got invokers which just look to be the typical mage uh, mage with unmatched mastery over the elements Voker strikes fears into entire armies which he lacks in durability which makes up for a terrifying array of area attacks and debuffs that stop foes from even reaching her we got the berserker which ooh dual wield I do love me some dual wielding Warrior gift with measurable strength, goes to waves enemies with his twin blades. The longer he fights, the more ferocious he grows, using his rage to lay waste anyone foolish enough to oppose him. Well, just from the look of the previews, this looks very Diablo-esque. Shadow Hunter. I'm guessing this is... Oh, I thought it was going to be a ranged. I mean, no, like a bowman. Oof, wow, can you do something else? I can't turn him, can I? Arrow keys, WAC, nope. Hunter who learned to draw upon the darkness. Shadow Hunter prowls at night, uses his chain whip. Okay. Chain whips are pretty cool. Uh. Variety of thrown weapons. Okay, so he's, he's definitely the ranged one. Hmm. And what about the cannoneer? Now this is probably the ranged one. I love her. I know which one I'm picking. I'm sorry. I have such a soft spot for cute. Uh, diminutive sharpshooter. She's like she's like a really bigger and slightly more human Tristana the way she, that's the way she comes off right now they waste things of her weapons innovative selective fire system shows it yep yes I'm the guy that would be picking the little girls costume previews they got different costumes also the art is very wait was that a, okay I thought that was a t oh my god the physics what's this Oh, oh, whoa, okay. Um, anyway. Also, the graphics, like the character designs, are also kind of, uh, Terra based. Uh, let's see, let's go into some character designs. It doesn't look to appear to have much in terms of, um, oh, what's the best word for that? Variety? Yeah, variety would be pretty good. You know, all these pretty much just look the exact same, but let's go for this one. Do I want a dark skin? Do I want a pale skin? Or do I want, like, lightly tanned? Uh, let's go for dark skin. Wait, wait. I, okay, good. I can actually do that, too. <laughs> oh wait, let's make her as pale as possible. Wait, where's the white? Ah, oh. she looks like she was born in a snow area. With that, uh, how about a lighter? Maybe right about there. We go. I like that. Uh, lip color, don't very much care for lipstick. Uh, I 
I guess I like that. Uh, name. Uh, what should the name be? Oh wait, oh, almost forgot, there was more. Whew. Good thing I didn't go past him. Uh, we got some pretty basic hairstyles. Oh, you got hoops at the end of those. Nice big ponytail. Let's see, we got that. That's pretty cute. So you got some twin tail. No, those, those are more... Those pigtails or twin tails? I don't remember the difference. Some big fluffy things right there. I like the, uh... The engines, uh, making the hair and every all the clothes move around as I rotate this. I really like that. We got a slightly tighter ponytail. No, this one's uh, a, this one's more of a wrapped around ponytail. Uh, let's go for let's go for this. I liked this, but I don't like the hair color. There we go. Nice contrast and color between the skin and the hair. Got some tattoos. Okay, they're right on the face. I can't zoom in any more than this. Got a cute little cat. Little heart. Little stars. I like the heart. I like those two. I like the heart. Pupils. Oh, I love pupils. Oh, they don't have much. It looks like they might have more eventually. Uh, I want to. I, I'm about to say, I don't want to. This isn't going to be the final color. I just want to have something that I can actually see the pupils with. Ooh. I like that. That's terrifying. Oh my god, look at that. That's terrifying. Uh, let's get some red eyes, but I want some really deep red eyes that they don't have, which makes me sadness incarnate. Uh, now they don't. Oh, wait, wait, do they? Ugh, it's so difficult to find anything on this thing, because there's no like surefire colors in this. I don't know. I'm just gonna go with this because I really like the red eyes. And I guess I'll go for the slit, the slitted eyes. I can't tell if those are lizard eyes or cat eyes, but I like them. Oh, no, then a name. Name, 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 name. Uh... Oh my god, what should a name be? Name. Name. Well, I am Sandman, so she'll be my... Wait. My Sand Girl. That sounds good. Look at her, she's cute. Let's connect. So as far as customization, uh, customization of your character goes, there isn't really much diversity. So basically, you're kind of stuck. You know, so most characters are basically going to look the same.
I try to be as quiet as possible because unfortunately my mic doesn't have an off setting that's not unplugged. So I you know, so I tried to let you guys hear that as best you could. RPG mode. Let's see, uh, left click to move the cursor position, shift right to move, wait, what? Shift right click to move the cursor position. Can I like change this later on? Oh, I'm a, I'm a league player, so. Let's see. I guess apply. Sure, if I can change this later on. Okay, so wait, I can use both. Wait, where's the options? It's really small. Uh. Second. Okay, so you kind of can. So this is a Davillion mode. And then I'm guessing RPG mode is just that. Skill use. Much rather prefer that. Oh, it doesn't really explain much, so I sure hope this is a tutorial. Uh let me try and get the sound up. And I put the sound up all the way. And the music down a little bit. It might be able to hear the voice a bit better. Uh don't need those on, I guess I mean I guess I do need those on. Um I'm just gonna decline these for now. Cause I don't plan to be doing any of those. movements, we got the menu, like I said I'll just apply all this so okay so I opens up the menu, we got some nice health potions in there and WASD are still all that it looks like we have, oof! so I can actually hold this down, can I like spam click it? okay so you so you use the arrow so you can be like walking this way and then immediately turn around. I like that. I really do like that. Okay, what did she say? Okay, so I can't just click on. I thought they would attack us here. You and Alara have to reach the inner sanctum and protect the chaos stone. I I don't think I can go any further. What do I get for this supply crate? Yeah, pretty basic supply crates. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, so defeat the rakes. So okay, so F rip, dude. Wow, that's bloody. doesn't have much of a range. I, guess. I mean, I guess it does, but... Okay, so I'm level 2 now. Do I have a skill tree at all? Uh... G... H... J... Whoa! Okay. So one of these was my quest thing. Uh, was it G? No. H? Okay, H was the friends list. Um... Hello? Okay, so J is the quests. Oh, here we go. Here's a skill tree. We got the gunslinger. We got the demolisher. Got the opportunist. 
Uh, gunslingers shoot projectiles which enable you... What? To leave... Oh. Shoot projectiles which enable you to move while they are being shot. That's pretty good. With area effective skills. Slow down your enemies. That way you can take them safe from a distance. So this is more... The gunslinger is definitely for the run and gun type of player. Demolisher... Demolisher is basically weaken your opponents and finish them off. And the opportunist, exploiting enemy weaknesses, taking advantage of certain situations. Well, that's exactly what it sounds like. You take advantage of the opportunity and you like focus on their weak spots. I definitely like the gunslinger. So I can't learn this, I don't think. Looks like you need something called vigor. Uh, I can't use a skill expansion. Only a I'd use it on patron state. So I don't have anything on this so far. Uh, anyway. Do I go back up here and talk to him? Oh, okay. So I'm guessing I just keep going. Oh, okay, there's another mission right here. Defeat more of them, so... There's a very basic MMO for now. Whoa! What the hell? Jarkin is one of the most powerful. Okay, wasn't completely finished reading that, but that's fine. I like how they have a little thing that basically notifies you of where the things are. I'm just gonna stand back here. Definitely good for kiting. You know, so early enemies that uh, plain dress. Uh, your training dress, plain dress. Oh uh, yeah. So I can't just double click it. Okay, right click. Oh, I like how that. Okay, I personally like that. I like how it actually changes uh, when you do that because not a lot of games do that. I mean, there's not much difference, but I like it. Let's see the guard. Oh wait, I got a new skill. Uh, oh, come on. Aimed shot. Okay, that's the first one that actually uses MP, but it looks like you regain at about 8 mana, guessing per second. So this so this one's your basic attack, pretty much. So I'm going to put that here. That way it's easier. And then this one will put... Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> I think you need me. <laughs> well, I guess that's a thing. Still hear me? Sorry, let my guard down. Oh, hello. Oh, fuck. Oh, I actually have a thing. Oh, okay. Okay, so wait, where's my skills? Okay, so it looks like you also gain skills as you level up. So I want this right there. I don't know if this has any AoE damage. But no, because it's so difficult when you always have a uh, a partner doing damage as well. It's difficult to tell. I feel like that guy's like tryharding. 
please lead me. Ooh! Rip in pepperinis. Oop, shit. <laughs> I'm also, yeah, the thing I was doing just now, that's space. That's a little dash. So like, so like you, so like you can be shooting this way, dash, continue shooting, dash, continue shooting. So that's some pretty good uh, variety in the battle mechanics. I really do like that. Got some plain gloves. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's see if it. I like this game. I like this game solely for that reason because not a lot of games do it. Defeat Waltmo. What kind of man named someone Waltmo? Whoa. Okay, these guys actually have some decent defenses. Rip. Uh. Oh, hello. Whoa! Fuck! I was not paying attention. Okay, so those are attacks right there. Plain petticoat. Oh, but she looks so cute in that. Oh, she look cute in this? Didn't actually do anything. Oops! Uh, I guess I was fine. Don't I? actually see never actually saw what wait where's her equipment uh that's her settings ah oh, there we go P I'm trying to see what the petticoat does you know like what it looks like It doesn't actually do anything then. Okay. That's pretty cute though. Anyway. Moving on. Doesn't look like you can actually destroy anything, so it's not completely Diablo esque. Like you're not gonna be going around destroying I objects, you know, looking for random gold. And the art in this is actually rather decent. Now, even for what I'm cur the settings I'm currently on, the low settings, it's definitely uh, pretty good. You no, know? uh, you can see certain designs. Yes, the sh oops. Yes, the shadows are kind of shoddy, but no, that's my fault. Nobody else's. So definitely, if you have a pretty good computer. Um, no, def no, definitely check this game out. It's free to play. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm basically gonna try and play until I hit, like, maybe level 10 or something like that. No, de depending on how long this goes. Whoa, what's this? Oh, the devil summoning device. I say maybe maybe I wasn't completely paying attention, but I don't understand why I always have a uh, a sidekick. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, it looks like everybody's dead. We got another devil summoning device. Whoa, hello! Can I dash up here? Okay, I can't dash over walls. That's a thing. Just run and gun, boys. Run and gun. Okay, wait, I can't go over there. Any 
so over there. Oof, hello. Whoa, what the f Go, 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 go! Okay, for some odd reason, sometimes I can't attack. Okay, so it's this thing. This thing right here. Can I get rid of this? That's definitely something I want to try and get. Wait, hold on. I want to get rid of these first. Pale moon dress. Looks pretty cute. Or sounds pretty cute. What's this? What is the F? Okay, anyway. Uh, where is the menu? No. You skill without moving? That's the action key. Devillian transformation? Say, I want to close the chat. It does not look like there's an option for that, or maybe I'm just missing it. It's the sound. There's the set control. There's none of that. Oh, UI. I don't much care for about that, but I want to get rid of it. I want to hide it. It doesn't look like they have anything for it. I want to close it. Can I, can I move this? Please. Just go to whisper only, I guess. Ugh. I don't know. That's definitely one problem I have because you you can be moving around, and then you know you may accidentally go over here, and all of a sudden you can't do anything. I don't know. Like I said, that's definitely one problem that I have with this game. Whoa! Hello. No, because again, like oh, okay, so you can actually just. So, oof, okay, I'm kind of got lost my train of thought there. So, things like in this game, if you played, you know, Diablo, or perhaps League of Legends, uh, things in this game work like a skill shot, it looks like. So you can click on one enemy and it'll, fo it'll focus that, but, you know, if a another enemy jumps in the well whatever I'm just gonna just gonna fucking tear through these oh yeah I never equipped my cute little dress so let's see what this looks like oh it's cute I like that little tail it has Uh, yeah, but anyway, it, the things work like a skill shot. So, you definitely want to be careful. It could be my internet, it could be the game, but it doesn't feel like it handles extremely well right now. Like I said, it could just be my internet. No. We got demon summoning device. We're gonna hurry up and destroy that. Get rid of these. As f as for the combat system, I like it, but it's also very generic. You know, everything just cut. Oh, hello. Those physics, though. 
and I you know I'm talking about the jiggle physics uh, but the story is nothing new the uh, character design is nothing new like I said I already saw similarities between Terra Whew. okay he likes jumping around the place so overall I guess this game is pretty good but like I said it's not the first out there it's not original in any sense so if you like this kind of game I definitely recommend it to you but whoa okay whoa 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 but if you're looking for something different you know something original I would probably say steer clear buff cannot be removed pop but all in all yeah it's pretty fun what is this another rifle will it change the rifle too yes it okay it definitely has the originality in terms of you no know, customization like during the game like pre-game character customization you know it's it doesn't go into sliders it doesn't go into many different facial expressions it doesn't do this and doesn't do that but during the game like mid-game customization as far as dresses and weapons and other equipment goes that's definitely good I definitely like that uh... but I guess with the end of this f I guess the first big quest we're gonna go ahead and go to Windbrook Village see how this goes And I'll probably end this off here, you know, guys, I'll probably continue playing the game. I don't know how long I'll actually be playing this. You know, I love MMOs, I definitely do, but my MMO era kind of, like, passed back when I was younger. Because I'm not a person that can just sit here and play an MMO game and grind and grind all the time. Now I don't very much care for the grinding. That was the biggest turnoff with MMOs. But this definitely looks more Diablo-esque in terms of leveling. You'll you can just follow. Oof! Wow. Uh, this is definitely just. Yeah, there we go. That's definitely a thing. But that's like I said. Well, that was just my computer. Definitely. It's definitely very Diablo-esque in terms of leveling. You can just do like the main quests and maybe some side quests. And you'll probably be good. No, you can get a decent challenge out of things. So you don't have, doesn't look like you really have to grind. But... All in all, it's a pretty good game. If I had to give it a rating, uh, as far as originality goes, it would probably get a pretty low um, rating simply because everything that it is has been done before with the exception of, like I said, the mid-game customization things... Um, changing as the different things you equipped but that is not enough to save a game we got a supply crate here goes up to level 10 Nympha looks like you get a pet right afterwards oh, I can name your pet uh... uh... Navi perfect Got a little fairy named Navi. And 
It's just a regular megaphone. Now, megaphones, if you've played something like uh, Maple Story, that's basically something you can shout out to basically every channel. Um, as far as originality goes, it'd probably get a pretty low score simply because everything it has has been done before. So it'd probably get a. F Four or a five. Uh, the only reason it goes up to four is because it's Diablo, but with cute anime characters. That's basically the way I can put this. No, but no, how I designed my character. It's basically Diablo with cute anime characters. And the mid-game customization. I've repeated that many, many times, but that's just how much I personally love that. Gameplay, I'd give it a 7 out of 10. It plays very well. It plays exactly how you would think it would. And if I had a slightly better internet connection, I would probably give it a slightly higher score, maybe an 8. Art. You know, I have this on the low settings. I definitely give it maybe an eight. No, no, no. Well, hmm. Yeah, I definitely give it an eight. I'd give it an eight as far as graphics go and art style. Uh, story, it's very, very generic. You know, angels and demons. Uh. You know how how many times have you heard that? But that just goes back to the originality score. Uh, music sounds very well. I know I am not generally a person that pays attention to music. You no, know, so let's see if I can turn this music back up. There doesn't appear to be any music right now. So that's definitely a thing. It could have just been a it could have been a glitch, it could have been internet connection. Could have been a lot of things. Uh music music goes, I'd give it a seven. I feel like that's a pretty good neutral score. Uh for you know, for me that doesn't very much care about it. So all in all, I'd give this entire game mm, probably a six. Six. Six out of ten. The the art and the cute little quirks that it has don't really bring it back from no, the lack of originality. I feel they could have tried a little bit harder. No, I haven't gone that far in the story because, like I said, this is the first impression video. So, no thing. Things could get better as I play the game. Things could get worse as I play the game. So, if you guys want to try this out, check it out. It's free. You can go to the website and download it. You can go to Steam and download it. That's what I'm currently playing this on. So yeah, if you like games like this, no, definitely check it out. So, this has been LATE Sandman, and I will see you guys next time. Janet.